I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Hello everyone, welcome to Traveler's Experience. In this episode, we want to talk about one of the couple travelers who come from Netherlands to Iran. They waited for a long time to come to Iran and now they are here. I will tell you why we are here to take these videos in front of this amazing mosque. You will understand during this video. So if you want to learn more about uh, traveling with your own car and learn about your uh, process that you have to do before that, Stay tuned in this video. Let's go. Uh, I am Milena. I'm Yuri. And uh, we are from the Netherlands, from The Hague. And we are driving with our Volkswagen van to uh, China. That's actually the plan, the Silk Road. Yeah, we're trying to, to reach China, but, uh, but it's very hard at the moment. But we'll, we'll just give it a shot and we'll see how far we will end. And now we're in Iran. And we're not sure yet where to go next beyond Iran. That's so interesting. Before coming to Iran, I want to know about, because as you know, our channel and our Instagram page. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, as I asked you, I want to come back a little back before coming to Iran. Yeah. A process that you passed, because as you know, our channel mainly about uh, traveling to Iran, the process that they have to know. Yeah. And uh, could you tell us how was your process and what did you do for traveling with your own car? To Iran, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, we wanted to go to Iran, but because of COVID it was closed. Um, so we had to wait a while, but that made us manage to get into Iran, thanks to you actually. Uh, what did we have to do by car? Um, we had to arrange the Carnet de Passage. The Carnet de Passage is very important because otherwise you cannot enter Iran. And we had to arrange the visa, the e-visa, and that's why we contacted you to help us with that. So uh, to get a visa we actually thought, ah, we do it on our own, right? Like always, we, we can get a visa. But then we figured it's more difficult than that with Iran because you need uh, either a hotel or invitation letter. So I don't know how, but we found you on Instagram, I think. Uh, and that was so much easier because you know the country, you know what to do. So the only thing we had to do was give you the right information. Uh, you ask us a lot of, uh, another couple of questions. And that was it. And then you figured it all out. And the only thing we had to do was go to the embassy in The Hague, pick up our visa and uh, come here. Oh, that's, that's the only thing I had to do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the rest I did. <laughs> yeah, but so yeah. It, it, but it was great because I had to cycle to our embassy, your embassy in, in the Netherlands. The 50 minutes I went in and 50 minutes later I was out with two e-visas yeah, printed out. Yeah, so it I, was very convenient. Yeah, so don't very think good. you can do it on your own. Just get it, get a visa via Marketel. Yes, and then uh, of course we also needed to arrange money because uh, our bank cards are not, uh, we cannot use them here. Uh, and I think that was about it, it was okay. It's just that some process takes long, like Carnet de Passage cannot be arranged in the Netherlands, so we had to find a way where to arrange it. Uh, visa, you cannot arrange on your own, you really need a company to help you out. Uh, and money, well, you have to take dollars or euros with you and exchange them here. And then uh, then I think that was it. Yeah, the, the carnet we arranged at uh, German uh, ADAC. And our visa we could arrange in our hometown, The, the Hague, where there was a, a well, consulate or yeah. a embassy. Yeah. So, uh, for the carnet de passage, did you do it during your way or you do it in your country? You can do it both ways. So uh, we did it at home because it was easier for us and we were at home. 
but you can also do it on the road. You just need to have time because they have to send it on paper to your address. So you have to be somewhere where they can post it to. Um, and it, yeah, it costs some money, so uh, be in time to arrange it. You cannot arrange it two weeks if, uh, before you enter Iran, it's not possible. And what about your insurance? Do you need it for your car also? No, you need, you need a travel insurance, that's normal, but for the car insurance you have to pay uh, at the border, right? Uh, we, paid it, we did it in Tabriz actually. So when you enter Iran by car, uh, it's all okay, but within a few days you need to arrange your insurance here. And that uh, mainly covers, if you get into an accident, it mainly covers the, the costs for the other car. So we arranged it in Tabriz uh, because we came from Armenia. But you can arrange it in any uh, big town in uh, Iran. Yeah. Interesting. And uh, what about your car? Because as you know, we are staying here in front of this mosque, which is so close, yes. the color of your car, uh, which is not like just a car for you. It's just maybe like part of your family. Definitely. So could you uh, explain a little more about your car, how you uh, fix it and how was it? And also I have one another video from you that we talked completely about your car how okay. and how was it? So uh, yeah, as you see in the building, there's this beautiful... Um, Turquoise, blue, yeah, it's not green this, but no, it's, <laughs> it's not this. But it's in your shirt, I think. Yeah, <laughs> this is a bit too blue. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, but you see in the buildings the beautiful turquoise color that is that is uh, from Persia. It's actually from here, from the stone that's found here. And when I chose the color of the car, I just looked at these buildings and I thought like it's it, it's connected to the Silk Road. It's connected to all Persia. It has to be this color. So that's also why we really wanted to be in Iran, just to be with Alexina, with her color, coming from here, being near our buildings. Uh, sorry, but I have two common questions that yeah. always ask travelers, so I will ask you yeah. uh, about this. What do you think about Iran before and what you see in Iran exactly? Well, that's difficult because we've Good been question. here only, only two weeks, so we can't really judge well. accordingly because we're planning to be here for two months. But we, we have some impressions, of course. Sure. Uh, but before, so before we went here, actually, Yuri's, one of Yuri's best friends is from Iran. So we had already kind of like stories we heard. <laughs> so, uh, but of course, uh, in the media, you see different things, right? Um, in the, the, the mainstream media, you get, you see the whole world in, in war and whatever, and nuclear weapons, whatever. So we see that. But then, if you watch documentaries about uh, travelers coming here, like uh, Joanna Lumley, you get to see this, this beautiful architecture, the kindness of people, the delicious food, the culture. The history. Yeah, so we already had like, uh, of course we did some research before coming here, so we had a good idea. And then we come here and, um, it's even it's even better, you know. It's, the buildings are even more impressive. Even in the tiniest of towns, you see like the amazing mosques with with the beautiful colors. Yeah, and um, the very nice food and the beautiful and, and kind people, so generous. Yeah, yeah inviting you everywhere for tea <laughs> and coffee also. And coffee, yeah, we love coffee. Yes, yes. And taking and pictures. Yeah, they take a lot of selfies. Okay, that's that's new for us. That was a. Yeah, and the driving is uh, is a little bit insane here, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's true, it's fun. Traffic, you don't want to drive in Tehran, so we did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we skipped that. Yes. We had to get used to that. Yeah. It is very, uh, I think, in some parts interesting and some part bad for uh, those who come from European countries in Iran. They always have problem in case of driving in Iran, and I think you also have the same. Yes. Yeah? Yes, with driving in Iran, well, it's it's okay. I I have to say we we've seen worse, but you have to get used to people not driving in the lanes, people driving without lights at night, uh, even even coming uh, the wrong way. You know, you're <laughs> like it's, the, it's the drivers are very un unpredictable. They could do very, like yeah. anything instantly. They, they suddenly are move or very fast, too fast or too slow, <laughs> and nothing in between. 
<laughs> There's no normal in Iran. No it's normal. very, it's very interesting for us, and of course, our van is our is part of part of us. So we are always like, no, don't touch us. <laughs> but until now, it's going well. So uh, let's hope. Uh, <laughs> let's hope it stays that way. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And one last question that I always ask from travelers: What shot you in Iran? Do you have anything that makes you shot in Iran? Well, traffic first. Um, shocked in a bad way or a good way? or? Oh, oh um, well, not really shocked, but something that I found was that the people are very beautiful, like the, the faces, but also the colors they wear. And I, I really like that. I like the women here, they dress amazing. I, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what I expected, but I. The colors, I, I really like the colors here. Well, I was shocked in a positive way the day before yesterday when I first entered the square and I saw the, the oh, grandness yeah. of it. It was like, oh, wow, no. you didn't expect it to be this grand. And something that shocked us, but in, in a good and funny way maybe, is that Iranians picnic whenever, wherever. Uh, it can be misty, it can rain. Next it's to the on highway, a, on, on the, the mountain. mountain top, <laughs> raining. <laughs> Doesn't Iranian matter. picnic. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, and they, they all have their tea. tea. <laughs> we love it. It's uh, we love it. Iranian picnic. Do you have picnic. any suggestion for other people in the world that maybe see your video? I come to Iran, visit it, and see it for your own. Be open-minded. Yeah. Your Le leave your uh, your ideas at home. Be open-minded. Come here and, and take it in. That's it. But for the Iranian people, we have a message as well because uh, they are quite insecure and how people the West thinks of them and they think we have a really bad view of Iranian people but it's, that, I don't think that's the case you can relax we think you're normal nice people yeah some people actually tell us like uh, oh we thought all of you think we're terrorists yeah. it's not like that. it's really not like that no no I think, I think that's an exception. I think those people are uh, ignorant people. They, they didn't see more than just one type of news because it isn't like that. We don't think of you in a bad way. We, we, are, we know about, about the stories about Iran and it's, not, it's nothing bad. Yeah, we, we hope to tell that through our stories on Instagram. Yes. Yeah, I see yeah we try to show the beautiful uh, real Iran. Thank you so much and hope you enjoy your rest of your journey in Iran. You so Have much. a good time. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>